Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. An operation by the Iraqi army to retake the city of Ramadi from Daesh has entered its second day, and the forces say they're likely to succeed by the weekend. Iraqi special forces are fighting on the ground as Iraqi Air Force and the U.S.-led coalition provide air support by bombing Daesh targets. Daesh has controlled the city since May. Amnesty International says Russian air raids in Syria have killed at least 200 civilians. The director of Amnesty Middle East in North Africa says some of those attacks seem to have directly targeted civilians and medical facilities with no evident military objective. He added that they may amount to war crimes. The report focuses on six attacks in the provinces of Homs, Idlib and Aleppo between September and November. Amnesty says Russia may have lied about the results of its airstrikes. A member of parliament has asked Prime Minister David Cameron to intervene on behalf of a Muslim British family. U.S. authorities banned a family of 11 from boarding a flight to Los Angeles on December 15. Mohammed Tariq Mahmoud, his brother and nine of their children had been granted travel authorization online. They say they were on their way to see family in the U.S. and to visit Disneyland. Washington State Governor Jay Inslee said he has ordered immediate steps to correct a computer glitch. A programming fix intended to comply with a Supreme Court ruling ended up miscalculating the sentences of about 3% of the prison population in the state. This led to the early release of more than 3,000 prisoners since 2002. The Department of Corrections was first alerted to the error three years ago. Inslee said two retired federal prosecutors will conduct an independent investigation into why the matter wasn't addressed earlier. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.